Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. So today we're doing a little bit of a really quick, quick tip. Uh, one of the questions I get asked quite often is, uh, you know, I sell the aluminum honeycomb panels and so customers ask all the time, how do you cut it? I also see this in a lot of the Facebook groups and all that kind of stuff too, and on videos. Uh, simple, simple answer. Use a bandsaw. Um, I don't even use a, a metal blade or anything like that. I just use a normal wood blade, the things that I usually use. Um, a little bit higher tooth count will give you a little bit smoother cut, but I mean, there's really nothing to it. You just want to cut it um, flat on the bandsaw. You don't want to try and resaw it into thinner strips. It'll just crumple. So don't tip it up on its side like that. That is going to turn into a, a change your short situation. So make sure that you're always cutting it with the panel flat on the table. The only other thing that I will mention is it does kind of help uh, to have a, a zero clearance throat plate. Um, if you have a giant gap, uh, you know, some of those things have just a huge hole in them. Um, that it could try and kind of grab on and pull it down in. So um, obviously that's not zero clearance and I get away with that just fine. But um, you know, that can kind of help is having a tighter throat plate. Um, one way to kind of do that real quick is zero clearance throat plate. Just slap a piece of MDF or plywood on there, cut halfway through, and you got yourself pretty much a zero clearance throat plate and you won't have too many issues of it trying to kind of pull it down in. So like I said, super quick, quick tip today. Just cut it with the bandsaw and you should be good to go. So I uh, hope everybody has fun dunking some aluminum honeycomb and turning it up. Um, so if this is your first time on my channel, I usually don't do this weird kind of vlog style thing, but I thought I'd just try it out, see how it goes. So uh, anyway, if you're interested in resin casting and turning stuff, definitely hit that subscribe button. That's what we do around here. Um, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos get posted. Uh, so, uh, and I guess the other thing is I always wanna mention my ebook. If you're thinking about getting into resin casting, don't know exactly where to start, uh, my ebook will help you out. It's the Beginner's Guide to Resin Casting. It answers all those kind of beginner questions like, what do I need to get started? You know, what kind of resin should I use? All of that stuff. It'll help you get started kind of quick, get over that initial learning curve so that you can get to casting some resin, making some fun blanks, and having a good time with resin in your shop. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.